und den. Äh, <lacht> Jenny Kamas lying down after meat. And his wife Sunena will not allow any servant maids to wait on him. She will herself do everything. So she was there. Uh, you know, there is no electrical fans. So she was just fanning him with a hand fan and all that. And there are other people, other sakis. He is not sleeping. He is awake. Suddenly, he sees a vision where his mantri and Commander-in-Chief, they enter suddenly inside and they say, Run, run, Janaka, run. The enemies have got into the uh, palace. They are all coming here to catch you and take you and uh, to kill you. Come on, go through the secret door. So he opens the secret door down below the carpet and is about to enter. The fellows came in and they caught hold of him. And they took him to that king. The king said, that enemy king, Janaka, you have had a good reputation, it's a good king. So I don't want to kill you. I give you only one choice. It's now 12 o'clock noon. Before night, 12 o'clock, you should cross the border of your country. Your, your ex-country, it is now my your kingdom. Okay. You should no longer be there. If you are there, wherever you are, you will be killed. I have instructed all the soldiers. Janaka appeared to run because he cannot make it. It is so far. He knows the route, but it is so far. He runs with fear inside him. And all the people in Warren, nobody should come out and see him. Nobody should give him a cup of water. Nobody dares to come out. He is running, he is feeling thirsty and after sometimes he is feeling terrific appetite. Absolutely nobody outside the street. Everybody is shutting their window and seeing secretly. And he is running, 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 running. Exactly at 12 o'clock he crossed the line of demarcation and just fell down on the other side. On the other side, there was a big charitable house. The manager was sleeping on a cot. He went and fell at his feet. He said, Oh, manager sahab, I am Janaka the king. I am in great streets. I have not taken meals. Please give me something to eat. He said, Whoever you are. Point is, yesterday night we had a big feast. All people have eaten everything. And those vessels are lying there under the taps. Perhaps some portion of rice, etc., may be sticking on this side, you may get something. You go and try your hand. And all the vessels were there where rice and other things were done. And the water had been kept up to the top, so they were all there. He put his hand and did like this. He got uh, one handful. Ah, at least a little of my appetite will go. He is taking it. Suddenly from somewhere two dogs jump and take away the food and then they begin to eat. He began to be, Lord, you can't even give me this much to Janaka. When he shuts his eyes and then he weeps, opens his eyes, he sees. He is there lying on the bed. Sarena is uh, fanning him. Everything is as it is. He suddenly asks his wife, Sunena, Sunena, is this true or is that true? <laughs> she doesn't understand. She feels her husband has slightly, once he has become loose. He calls for the Rajavidya. He comes, he puts him some questions. How many? Two. How many? Three. No, no, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> This is how they test you first for insanity. How I don't do dots. <laughs> then uh, he says, proclaim everywhere. The man who answers my question, I'll give him half the kingdom. So many people came. They simply said, 
this also true, that's also true. He said, which is true? They couldn't tell anything. They simply said, this is also true, that's also true. And they couldn't tell, put them in the prison. There are so many people put in the prison. At last one day, he is discussing highest philosophy with a lot of pundits and philosophers and sages and walks inside Ashtavakra with all, uh, uh, I mean, uh, completely bent and he is a hunchback and he has got in eight places his body is turned. Deformed. Deformed. That story is different, I'll tell you later if you want. It's different. You can continue. <laughs> so here, when he comes, all the people laugh at the, at the unusual gait in which he is walking. When they stop, Ashtavakra laughed for 15 minutes. All people are stunned. The king is asking, Oh sage, I don't know who you are and what's your name. We all simply laughed at your gait. And you are laughing at what? He said, Janaka, I had heard that you are bodiless, Videha, who has no body sense. And you are already a great philosopher of the highest merit. But what I find is, you are one of the butchers along with other butchers. I yeah. am <laughs> sorry, I mean, you are one of the cobblers, who, the shoemakers. You are one of the cobblers along with others. Cobbler is the one who looks at the skin. And you are people only looking at my skin. Chamar hai chamar. Ablo. Highly got himself, but he wouldn't answer. Uh, uh, tell me, what where have you come? Your question I am going to answer. Uh, come on, tell me the answer. That was also untrue, this was also untrue. Explain which is also untrue. On that day, you were very hungry. You went and wept before the manager. And you are weeping that when the dogs have taken away the food. Now, are the dogs here? Are you eating? Are you afraid? You are not. And similarly, your wives are fanning you and all that. And when you saw yourself uh, lying at the manager's feet, where was Sunaina? Who was fanning you? Was it there? So, that which exists in the past, present and future, Trikaleshu Abhaditam Vastu Satyam Itichati, that is called a Satya or Truth. That which has something yesterday, something else today, something else tomorrow, it is a Satya, it is untruth. The world is like this. Today it is one thing, tomorrow is different, day after tomorrow is different. So it is untruth. So that which reminds the same. If yesterday you had the appetite, you should have it today, you should have it day after tomorrow. Then only it is called Satya. An appetite which goes away after half an hour after eating, it is not such a thing. It is all illusion. It is all illusion. And he explained, Janaka was done. He declared, here is the correct reply. He said, <coughs> King, give me my half the kingdom. He immediately gives him the kingdom. So, Trikalesha, Bhadidam, Vastu, Satya, Vritti, Chati. That which exists the same. What do you say, truth? Yesterday, I said, yes, I went to see the picture, it was quite okay to your friend. And today when your father asked, hey, where were you yesterday? Yesterday I was having a private class, sir. The tuition teacher asked me to come specially. So, yesterday it was something else, and today you are telling something else, so it is not truth. That's it. So, he just defined the truth. Thank you. Maharaj, how was Janaga standing in two boats? We are not able to do that. The point is this. Janaka didn't stand at all. Again, after hearing all this, you are putting the same question. Your thought cannot do anything. Your thought is a thought is only a puppet. 
So again it is he who it does it. So can't he do this? <laughs> it's a drama. A drama maker can create heaven on the stage, can create hell on the stage. How can you say on this side you can create heaven, on this side you can create hell? No, for a householder, mm. the concept of standing in two boats is the right thing because that is what you have to do. See, look here. On the, originally you had all uh, 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 rishis and they were all having wives and hundred hundred sons like Vasitka. And with all that, they were having, each one was having a piece of land. In the morning they used to till it themselves. They used to till it themselves. With the wives, then, Guruji, no Guruji? Huh? With the wives also, no? Ah, long they used to do together, meditate together, do everything no, no, together. No, the wives may, may not have helped in the tilling and all that. You see, huh. they had uh, separate works for their wives. Huh. But they, meditating they together, no? Huh? Meditating together. They never used to meditate together, just like this year. Huh? If they were to meditate together, they won't be, they will both be in the same guha. No, no, <laughs> meditate together means? Yes. In separate guhas, path, but, but moving towards God. Each one will be doing. But moving towards that. God. But according to the Shastras in those days, whatever your husband is okay, you need not do any tapasya. There is what for it is told for oh, them. That, oh, that time, for that them. time, not now. Manu, Manu has told. That time. I am talking of that time only now. <coughs> See, when at that time when they can do all these things, and then they can do havan, they can do then chapa, and with all these things, and now what is the mm. difference? You are going to the office instead of doing havan and all that. That's all. So you can do it. Ours is called Sanatana Dharma. Esha Dharma Sanatana. This is the universal uh, of all times. The universal dharma of all times. So it never changes. You cannot say that at that time like this. In Kali Yuga it's different. Now in the, under the current one, not at all. Guruji, what is that line about the dry leaf? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have his favorite. It's a his favorite. Neetaha samsara vate na vartate shushka parna vate. How is a jivan mukta? Yet jivan mukta is absolutely lifeless. He will be just sitting. He is called Alasa Shikamani, the one who is heading the uh, elgis. Elgis <laughs> means? <laughs> hey, I understand. Lazy, lazy, lazy goose. Lazy, okay, okay. lazy goose. See, goose. Others should not understand the insult. So we, we talk privately. <laughs> so, uh, there is written all of the shikamani. So, those people never do anything. How are they? Shushka See, yeah. A leaf has fallen. It has been there in the summer, yeah. there for a long time. It has completely shrunk. There is not a drop of humidity or water in it. Now, it cannot do anything by itself. It cannot even expand. It cannot do anything. It cannot do any action. It is just lying. At that time, there is a big cyclone which is coming. But that cyclone, in that cyclone, this is called Samsara Vata. See, the wind of the entire samsara, when it runs at some time, then it blows away that leaf also. The leaf doesn't go anywhere itself. It blows away the leaf. And at one place, there is a worm, which is just now born. Oh, so it's on that. Just like an umbrella. Then you say, see, how kind is that leaf, that Jevruta leaf? It goes and immediately helps, yeah, even good. when it is born, because it knows everything, that is why it is going affording it. So Not so at all. Yeah. It is a spontaneous, universal action which takes place, which the individual is not aware of. Now there is no individual called the Jeevan Mukta. You only see the individual, but there is nothing inside it. It is the universal which is working through it. Yes, sir. Oh.